I hope everybody got a little bit of that rain today. Mm -hmm. Not everybody did, though. Mm -hmm. What? Look at the temperatures I can show you across the region. This is at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Look at Savannah's temperature, 75. It had just rained. Look at the 90s that are farther inland. And as we went through the evening, everybody cooled off. But Savannah warmed up again before we've cooled off again. Now to 78 degrees, 82 at Hilton Head, 81 at Statesboro, 75 at Jessup. Here at WTOC, 79 degrees. Relative humidity is currently at 80%. Our winds are calm. We didn't get any rain. Zippo. But 91 was our high today for the day. And officially, we had a high of 92 at the airport, 74 the morning low, 99 hundredths of an inch of rain. Yep, almost an inch. Now our deficit is 1.88 inches. Very helpful indeed, and we hope you did get some rain today. Now the rain is kind of lined up across central to southwestern Georgia. None of that rain is in our area or expected to come our way, though if you're in our inland counties, you may see some of the lightning from some of those storms. But we did have a water spout down in Brunswick today, one of our many storm reports, and boy, have I I got pictures to show you. Check these out. We'll start along the intercoastal waterway with the palm trees and the what well, you can see the water spout in the background or Sandy Strickland's picture here from Jekyll Island. Look at the water coming out of the ocean or check this picture out from Heather Brees. A wonderful picture with the telephone pole or power pole right next to it. Here's a picture from the Brunswick porch. You could see this everywhere. Denise Williams took this picture for us. And here's a picture from Debbie Mimic who was at Summer Waves on Jekyll Island. And one more picture. There's the, well, I, you need a closer look. There it is. There's the water spout and it rained itself out and worked its way offshore. Did not cause any damage at all, but a lot of excitement. Thanks you. Many, many pictures. I couldn't show them all. Pics at WTOC.com if you have any weather pictures for us. Don't forget to send us your name. No water spouts in our forecast for first thing in the morning in Savannah from our 75 degrees up to 86 by 11 as you're looking at the phone. And here's what's keeping everything in play. That trough that just won't go away. High pressure to our west, high pressure just offshore. Next front zips by. It's not going to give us any help with any of our weather at all. We'll stay hazy, hot, and humid. 301 is our next tide. It'll be low. High tide at 855. The moon is new. And 632, our sunrise first thing in the morning. Moderate risk of rip current for tomorrow. For mariners, don't forget your sunscreen as well. First alert, Doppler Max 11 forecast. Our rumbles of thunder are ending. 74 degrees for an overnight low. Tomorrow, Another 40% chance of late-day showers and thunderstorms. 92, southwesterly wind. That's a little different direction this time. Heat index up to 101. From the 92, 91 on Friday, 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Saturday, 92, 40% chance of showers and storms. Sunday looks like a 40% chance, 30% chance after that. Temperatures in the 90s, overnight lows to hazy and buggy in the 70s. And always looking ahead to the weekend. Hope you'll join us for the WTOC Hurricane Expo. From 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Home Depot, south side of town on Abercorn. We'll be singing and we'll be dancing. Lots of great door prizes. Vendors will be there with great information. Come and join us. It's rain or shine. Thanks a lot, John. You're welcome.